Hello learners! How are you today? I hope you are doing fine and enjoying the comforts of your home. Did you have fun doing all of your assigned activities? Did you learn a lot? If you do, you are really doing great and I would like to commend you all for doing so. I am glad to be with you here today and be part of your learning adventure in exploring the amazing world of science. I am student teacher Nika, your science for teacher for today's episode. Our lesson for today is all about module 4, lesson 2, life cycles of selected animals. I want you to be ready for our discussion. Please prepare your pen and your notebook, or you may look at the lecture notes that I have given to you. If you all are set and ready, let's start. For today's lesson, you will be able to identify some animals that undergo complete metamorphosis in their life cycle and recognize the different stages of the life cycle of animals undergoing complete metamorphosis. What comes into your mind if you hear the word life cycle? Is it something that is circle or round or evolution or changeable? Well, if you are thinking the same thing, then you are right. According to Wikipedia 2022 in biology, a biological life cycle is a series of changes in form that an organism undergoes, returning to the starting state. What about metamor metamorphosis? Do you have any previous knowledge about the definition of this one? Metamorphosis is a biological process by which an animal physically develops after birth or hatching. There are four stages of a complete metamorphosis. In each stage of complete metamorphosis, the animal looks different than at all other stages. Butterflies are an example of an insect that goes through all stages of complete metamorphosis. We have here stage 1, the egg. The female lays the egg on the leaves or stems of a plant. Inside these tiny eggs grows a caterpillar or larva. Different species have different shape and textured eggs. Some eggs will hatch after a few weeks and others when the weather is warm enough. Second stage is larva. The larva eats their way out of the egg and immediately start feeding on the leaves of the host plant. As they grow, they shed their skin several times. A fully grown caterpillar can be over 100 times larger than when it emerged from its egg. Did you know? Some larvae add more body segments as they grow, like this monarch butterfly presented in the screen. Scientists refer to these developmental stages as instars, which are similar to how humans call their children babies, toddlers, or teenagers. For example, instead of being called a baby, a very young larva would be called an instar 1 and a teenager would be called an instar 3. The number of instar stages can be different depending on the type of insect. Third stage is pupa. Once fully grown, the larva forms a pupa or chrysalis. This is a hardened case to protect, it, to protect it from predators and weather. The pupa stage may last a few weeks to several months depending on the species. Inside the tissue, limbs, and organs of the caterpillar transform. And the last stage is adult. When the butterfly is ready to emerge, the case around the pupa splits open. The wings are wet, soft, and wrinkled against its body. The butterfly has to wait for its wings to dry and pumps a liquid called hemolymph into them. Other insects with complete metamorphosis. 
include beetles, bees, ants, butterflies, moths, fleas, and mosquitoes. Ants begin as, a, as an egg, then go through many instar or larva stages and pupal stage before becoming adults. There are three possible adult forms that an ant can become, male ant, queen ant, or female ant. These images are from scanning electron microscope. Well, that's all for today's video. Thank you for listening and I hope you will subscribe to a YouTube channel.